Good morning, y'all. Well, we are going out to the garden this morning. But first, I wanted to just show you our new addition. These are New Zealand whites. We've got two female, oops, sorry, and a male. Gonna be a nice addition. And there's Thumper. And all three females are bred. So we will be having babies soon. Now we do raise these for meat. That's why we went with the New Zealand. They are a very meaty rabbit. Hey Tinkerbell. Hi baby. Okay, y'all, we are going to go harvest a head of cabbage and maybe some beets and the carrots. It is mid-December, so we need to get these out of the ground. Now, remember last... Um, it's snowing. Huh. Remember the last time we had all that snow and look how the collards perked right back up. Now we're gonna harvest that head of cabbage right over there, Mr. James. Yep, the big one. And we are just gonna let these cabbages grow. It's kind of more of an experiment on how long they will grow in the garden. Looks like a fairly big head. That's one of the ones the white moths got. Good morning, by the way, Mr. James. Good morning. <laughs> and there's our Brussels sprouts. And they're still growing. They didn't do too well. I think I got them in the ground too late. But we'll see. We'll leave them there and see how they do. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. It's flat, but it's big. <laughs> yeah, I mean... We'll make some fried cabbage with that or maybe some cabbage soup. Oh, yeah. So, let's look and see how the beets are doing. Okay, y'all, here are the beets. We are definitely going to pull some of those today. But see, that goes to show you, you can grow things this late in the season. So, let me get some of those pulled. All right, y'all, this just tickles me pink. I've never been able to grow beets before. So, thanks to Tina and Mark over at Bumblebee Junction, uh, they taught me how, and this is the first harvest, and those aren't small, they're nice, and we will have those for supper. Okay, y'all, you can see the garlic come up, and those will be just fine throughout the whole winter. Now over here, we're going to go ahead and get these carrots pulled out. We're going to get them all pulled. And let's see what we get. Mr. James already pulled a couple. <laughs> you know, that's okay. For as late as it is, that's not bad. Those will be really nice in a roast. All right, y'all. Well, mostly what we're getting is short, dumpy ones. But that's okay. We're grateful to have them. And they'll be good for juicing. They'll be good for in pot roast. Ooh, chicken and dumplings. All right, that about clears out that bad. And we got quite a few. All right, 
we're going to go over here. Sorry for turning you so quick. Yeah, those are really tiny. Ooh, really, really tiny. <laughs> Those aren't bad. Bad is tiny. <laughs> There's one that's not too awful bad. Really? I mean, that's good size. But mostly, it'll be the size I put in the chicken and dumplings tomorrow. <laughs> and pot roast the next day. Exactly. Here you, here you a big one. <laughs> Now, as you can see, this is what we do with our rabbit manure. We put it right in the garden. It's a good source of fertilizer. Okay, y'all, that was all we got out of that bed. Now, I don't expect to get anything out of this because they were just planted so close together. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. Fingerlings. Hey, it's, it's a bite. It's a bite. Some of them. Yeah. We'll put them all out together. And, of course, I have to. They're all, yeah, they're just intertwined. Okay, yeah, we did get a pile of them. Um, like I said, they're not as big as they normally would be, but that's okay. We're grateful to have them. So, well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, those collard greens are doing nice. See, they're just so cold hardy. That's why I like planting them in the fall. So, all right, y'all. If you're not subscribed to Pennington's Garden Life, come on over and subscribe. We're good people. Have a blessed day. It's cold. I'm going in the house.